Hi, this is Tim from Sound Effects Premier in Ormskirk, here with Tom Quayle today. Hi guys. Uh, and we are relishing the opportunity to look at a new brand of guitars. Well, new to the UK anyway. Uh, these guitars are made in Switzerland by a company called Relish. Do you see the joke there? Uh, unfortunately, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, they're kind of the Swiss watch of guitars. Uh, we've got two of them here. We're going to focus on this particular model, the Mary, the Bloody Mary, as this is called. Um, I've got a Jane in my hand. I'm going to put that one down. We've got a separate video on that. Um, but these guitars are very, very innovative. Apart from uh, a, a kind of a little bit of a detachment on shape from the norm, um, they've got some interesting features to them. Uh, those features are there for a particular reason, and, and, and that is mainly around sustain and tone. They really strive to get a guitar that is constructed in a different way, aimed at, at getting very, very good sustain on it. Should we flip the little lady yeah. over? So if we put it on its back, and you can see, it's the same, it looks the same on the back, but as you can see, a sandwich construction. Three layers. And you can take this layer off. Not for the purposes of playing with the layer off, but for the purposes of accessing the inside. Now it's worth turning it around like that, and you can see not only these, which I'll explain, or will explain in a second, but, you know, access to all the electronics and things that you would need as well, which is kind of useful. Um, like a Swiss watch, it's made with incredible precision. Both of these guitars that we've looked at are incredibly uh, well crafted. Uh, these are actually magnets here, so this snaps nicely back on when you're ready to, to put it back on. But you can access the pickups, um, uh, and you can access you know the whole of the back here. The uh, bridge is mounted with strings through so you're getting a lot of sustain and it's basically the middle part of the body where everything is resonating against. Yeah. This has some rubber damp pads surrounding the magnet on both sides of it so even if you touch the body, the outer side of the body of a traditional guitar you'd normally be dampening that tone and stopping the resonance in some way but because you've got this sort of floating middle piece you don't get that dampening of the sustain, it just it just rings for forever, doesn't it? You can see the neck bolted directly into the middle piece as well. So again, you've got, similar to the other guitar actually, you've got this, this construction here where the, the two parts where the string uh, vibrates against the bridge and then against the neck is directly mounted into this centerpiece. So tons of sustain and resonance. Very cool. Should we pop the back, back on? Yep. Okay, so very easy to get back on. Simple as that. Turn it back over. So we've got a quarter song maple neck, um, and this, like the other guitar, has a bamboo fretboard. And they use bamboo for environmental reasons, to uh, obviously tropical forest woods are not environmentally friendly, in that we are chopping trees down too much. And you know, uh, this is a much more environmentally friendly wood. And then we've got shallow tuners. I'll just turn those over so you can see those and put them in this shot here. Pull a funny angle. Okay. Um, stainless steel frets, so really nice playability uh, and good tone as well, adds a good snap to the attack, which is good. So, uh, proprietary pickups as well, are their own pickups. Yep, they are indeed. Hipshot bridge, which you might have already mentioned, I can't remember, hipshot bridge. Three way pickup selector switch, which is actually it's really strange to say, but it's got a really satisfying click to it. Yeah. Um, and then a master volume and a master tone control. Uh, this comes in a satin red finish, hence the Bloody Mary moniker. Um, a couple of other colours, it comes in white and black, I believe. Uh, satin finish, doesn't feel like it would scratch or scar easily. Um, just a nice, contemporary, cool looking guitar. Yeah, again, sat satin finish on the neck as well, so feels great to play. So I guess, having said that, we should let you hear what it sounds like. Um, so we'll plug it in. We've got it plugged into our Roland Blues Cube, which is mic'd up, uh, sorry, mic'd up with an SM57. And uh, yeah, we'll start with a clean tone and then let you hear a drive tone. So let's do that now. Okay. All right, guys, so we'll start with the neck pickup of the guitar, straight into the Roland Blues Cube on the clean channel. As I say, mic'd up with an SM57, and we get this sound. This guitar kind of sounds almost hollow body, and you've obviously got that from the internal structure of that middle section, which has got obviously the hollow sections in. So, and again, tons of sustain. Check out the sustain again. Very impressive. So, I'll switch to the middle position again, everything on full volume and turn all the way up, and we get this. Thank you. 
Very dynamic, again, nice woody tone, very impressive, uh, considering that the constriction is very unique. Um, the tone is very guitaristic, but has that unique element as well. So down onto the bridge position, again, everything on full, we get this. Highly musical bridge pickup. It's not got that spiky kind of pick pickaxe in the ear kind of tone. It's nice and round still. So let's now switch over to some overdrive and have a listen to how that sounds. Okay, so let's check out the overdrive starting with the bridge pickup. Everything on full. <laughs> So again, there you can hear that impressive sustain, a very throaty, mid-rangey kind of sound, great for rock, um, but it's a very versatile sound. Switching up to the middle position, we get this. <laughs> into the neck position we get this sound. <laughs> So lots and lots of clarity from that neck pickup, but it's still got that kind of punch as well on the low end, and it's very round sound, so very impressive. Again, playability is excellent with these guitars, thanks to the comfortable satin finished neck and the stainless steel frets as well, which will last you for ages and ages. So really, really impressive. Uh, I hope you enjoyed those tones. Well, thank you for that, Tom. Uh, some great playing as ever. It's good to hear the clean tones. It's good to hear the distorted tones as well. Um, I think it stands up um, on either of those fronts. Uh, I'm really excited having these guitars in. As I said in the intro, they, there isn't anywhere else in the UK where you can get them currently, um, although they have been quite popular in Japan and America. Music Zoo are a, um, one of the leading shops in America have really been championing them. They've got a number of great artists on board now. Uh, so that's relish guitars for you. There's uh, the Bloody Mary there, the Swiss watch of guitars, um, and we're really looking forward to getting a whole batch of them in. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tom. No worries. See you later, guys. Bye.